Mm. Today's tiki recipe again comes from Smuggler's Cove, page 44. And this is the Demerara dry float. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to show you the rums that I've used. But don't forget on Sunday, I'm going to debunk it with different rums, maybe playing about with the ratio because I'm not overly convinced about the ratio. You'll see it in a second of what I'm talking about. But I'm not overly convinced I'm going to enjoy this as much as I possibly could. But the whole point of this cocktail and why it's called the Demerara Dry Float is because it's served with a side shot of overproof Demerara rum, traditionally. Uh, black blended rum we've got in Smuggler's Cove. But we're guessing Demerara rum. As, of, as I say in a second, we don't get the likes of what you guys get in the US for our Demerara overproof. So you'll have to see what I've gone through here. Um, but the whole point is you pour, you get you get served a sort of side shot of Demerara rum and you kind of pour it into the cocktail as the customer, as the person drinking it, you pour it into the cocktail to see, in stages, to see how little bits can affect the taste of the cocktail. So I'm really looking forward to showing you how to make it. I'm looking forward to the end of the video where I kind of dive in and taste it properly and uh, see what half a shot does. But I'm also really looking forward to Sunday and debunking this cocktail, playing about with the different rums, maybe playing about with the ratios, but I have also got one other option for an overproof black blended rum. Now the ingredients you're gonna to need to make this cocktail, over here I've got some lemon juice and lime juice ready to go. Uh, let's talk about the liqueurs and the syrups. Uh, maraschino, or, or is it maraschino? That's another one for you to dive in the comments about. Spell it phonetically down there, is it chino or schino? Uh, let me know, maraschino. So we've got that cherry, cherry liqueur essentially. Uh, we've got some brown Demerara sugar. Uh, now, in Martin Kane Smuggler's Cove, he does, Martin does make his uh, passion fruit puree or syrup, if you like, with 50% funkin and 50% sugar. I, I've gone back, I've used the whole range of ODK now for a long, long time. Uh, they're right down there. I use them for cocktail masterclasses, about 20 different flavors. They are 50% uh, sugar. Uh, yeah, well, 50% sugar and 50% fruit. So this is near as damn it identical to what you would get from doing your own with Funkin and sugar, okay? The uh, ODK is an Italian brand. They, they're juicing their pulp in their, 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 their puree in their fruits within hours of picking, and they are very easy to get in the UK and very easy to get all over Europe, okay? Most of them, as I say, 50%, 50-50 split. I flipping love them, uh, and they're long life and shelf stable, and it's just perfect. They're not tins of aerosol, cans of aerosol spray. They're actually sort of top-down uh, purees like that. So I've, I think they're absolutely fantastic for this sort of stuff. Now, let's talk about the rum for two seconds. Uh, the recipe, the actual physical recipe, there's one rum in the drink, and then there's another rum that you add to it. The actual uh, recipe in Smuggler's Cove is called so a Category 3 a Blended Aged Rum. So I've gone, I've sort of gone light tropical Barbados plantation five-year-old but as I say tune in on Sunday because we're going to see how different rums affect this cocktail and then the whole Demerara dry floats well you know we don't get I I was kind of torn this would be the natural go-to for most of us in the UK there is another brand that I will come out, get out on Sunday as well. Most of you will kind of guess what it is. Uh, but we don't really have the abundance of overproof Demerara rums in the UK. We don't get Lemon Heart. We don't get Denizen. Uh, I forget the others that you get over uh, over in the Hamilton. Sorry, that's the one I was main one I was thinking of. We just don't get them here in the UK. It's a big, I would say it's actually a big gap in the market, but it's nicely filled by uh, Plantation OFTD. So that's the ingredients you're gonna need. Now, as with a lot of tiki cocktails, this is flash blended, spindle blender, milkshake blender. So let's go in, let's, let's get cracking with these ingredients. Now, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna pan out. You'll find out exactly why now. First ingredient, 60 mil, two ounces of lime juice, okay? Six zero. Now we want a, it says a teaspoon, now my bar spoons, these are the little bar spoons, you know, not the massive whoppers that we sometimes get the cheaper ones we get in the UK. These are actually like five mil, you know, they're, they're not government stamped, but they are pretty much near as damn it, five mil, so a teaspoon. So we need a teaspoon of lemon juice. This is gonna be really interesting. I don't think I've ever made this, this is gonna be fascinating. Right, now, 45 mil, one and a half ounces of the passion fruit puree. So four, five mil. Look at that. 
it's proper lovely it's got a lovely tartness to it as well it's not sweet it's just got a lovely sort of passion fruity tartness a little bit a little bit splashed over the side for stevie perfect right demo oh, it's good it's good uh demo seven and a half mil quarter of an ounce then we go for the maraschino which again is 7.5 mil of that so quarter of an ounce of maraschino 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 I wonder what that is I've, I've heard it called both ways i think there's an explanation of why one's maraschino one's maraschino but i, I don't like where's my cherries yeah like i think they're both the same but i do think there's an i, I do think both ways apply to something different but i don't know let me know in the comments below debunk debunk maraschino maraschino right the final ingredient is 45 ml of a blended aged rum so one and a half ounces of this the plantation five-year-old right uh, i think it's very specific i've got to look at the recipe for the crushed ice so i'm going to do this but I've, i'll tell you in a second but crushed ice a couple of agitated uh, cubes and flash blend so it was 12 ounces of crushed ice and four to six agitator cubes and just to prove i've got them both look here's here's my agitator cubes and then here's here's my here's my crushed ice look i've always got both here so we've got that this goes into what they call uh, an old-fashioned glass or whiskey tumbler glass i'm hoping this is going to be a decent size uh, oh it's a tiny tiny bit left that's a bit annoying they're flipping, I tell you what, a double old fashioned glass, that I know is like 14 and a bit ounces. So these recipes, these ratios are kind of like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I've got, I've probably got a good two or three ounces of um, cocktail left there. So we'll, we'll leave that to one side. Anyway, basically you need a bigger glass than a double old fashioned glass, unless double old fashioned means like 16 to 20 ounces in the US, I don't know. Uh, and then the side shot, is the plant is your um your oak blended black overproof and it's 22 and a half mil so i'm just gonna pour that in my lovely cornish blue probably the wrong choice because it's got a fat lip on it so it's not going to be super accurate to pour in the cocktail that is my demerara dry floats and the whole point point of this now i've garnished this up there's no garnish in the photo in the book but i'll garnish this up let's bring them in the whole point is you kind of just gradually pour a little bit of uh, rum in at a time just to kind of see how the, the rum affects the, the cocktail. And that's pretty much what I do on Sundays as well. So this is going to be super fascinating. Now let's talk about the cocktail before we even go near it with the, the overproof rum. I was really nervous about that. 60 ml of lime juice plus a little bit of lemon juice and 45 ml of the passion puree passion fruit puree that is actually beautifully balanced what i am going to say is that i don't think that rum does this any favors this is without the overproof going in there at the moment so i'm not going to do too much of an experiment at the moment i'm i'm actually what i'm going to do i'm going to do a little by little on sunday but what i'm going to do now is i'm, I'm probably going to pour half of this in now just to kind of see there we go about half there we go just to see whether that helps the cocktail at all because that that rum really doesn't shine through and that so 22 and a half mils so it's just say 11 12 11 12 mils still a bit in there half left that has dramatically changed that that has now gone from being completely unbalanced the the, the citrus and the passion fruit is balanced to now you've got the rum punching through and i think now the rum actually carries through the cherry the cherry is very subtle i didn't get the cherry first off it was just passion fruit and citrus now that little bit of extra rum does actually bring that cherry note just very subtly come through so sunday's show is going to be very exciting because i've got a load of rums that we're going to play with i'm going to see how that affects the whole shot going in. 